Hello, you lot, and welcome to Two Point Campus, a magical realm where the parties are bonkers, the essays are last minute, and the meals come from vending machines. Mmm, exquisite. But it's flipping hard work running a successful campus, so if you want to build your own academic empire, you'll need some guidance to get you started. And luckily for you, I have a can-do attitude, a shouty voice, and zero qualifications. Let's get started, shall we? What are the rules of beer pong again? So here's your new and embarrassingly empty campus building. Before you invite the students in, you've got to make sure it's actually got everything it needs to teach the subjects on offer. The first course is Scientography, so you'll need to build a science lab for all those test tube boffins to blow shit up in. Add the necessary bits it can't do without, like a whiteboard and a big scary funnel, and boom, science is in session, kids. As you progress, you'll unlock more courses. From gastronomy, where you'll be schooling the next generation of Gordon Ramsay's on making giant burgers, to virtual normality, which is whatever the heck is going on here. Presumably something to do with TikTok? I don't know. Always look at what your courses require at the start of every academic year, as sometimes they'll change, and you don't want to deal with angry phone calls from parents because you forgot to add a bloody patisserie for your third-year gastro students. And you look like a right tit if you start frantically building one while they're all waiting outside. Sorry! So, we've added the gear. The other essential thing for teaching a course is, well, a teacher, innit? Let's look through some CVs. I want to hire this lass immediately because of her utterly ridiculous name. <coughs> She's skilled in Scientography and has the ability to inspire students and even make them laugh. But on the downside, she doesn't know how to use a bin. Oh, f*** it. Welcome aboard, Miss Barnacle. While she's busy dropping knowledge and empty crisp packets, it's a good idea to hire a janitor. They'll keep the campus running smoothly, watering the plants, tidying up, and fixing stuff that needs a little bit of TLC. Look at their skills to pick the best candidate. This one stinks. This one is squeaky clean. A no-brainer. Off your pop, love. You'll also need assistance to run facilities like libraries, student unions, and even your hot dog stand. Rose Mackerel gives the kiddos a learning boost, so she's a dead ringer for library duty. Oh, and give them a staff room to relax in. It's a hard job turning a blind eye to health and safety nightmares. Miss, <laughs> it exploded again! So, we've built it, we've opened it, and now here they come. Nerds! Jocks! Clown kids? Goth lads! Wherever students go, absolute carnage will follow. This one's got another dimension in her wardrobe. This lass is eating alien matter. And why, oh why, is it raining f***ing frogs? Christ, I need a pair of eyes. Though their ways are mysterious, there's two things we do know about students. Firstly, when they study or attend classes, they gain experience points that boost their academic level, which means better grades and a more profitable uni for yours truly. Secondly, the happier they are, the faster they learn. So, if the best your pupils get in class is a C, look at their needs to find out what's missing from your campus. If they're tired, build dormitories for snoozing. If they're feeling the call of nature, build a block of loos. See that waft coming off goth lad? That's not his dark aura, that's B.O. mate. Maybe build him some showers. You also gotta feed and water the needy little buggers. Stuff like vending machines and hot dog stands will do the trick. Doesn't have to be nutritious, it just needs to keep them alive. They also want entertainment. Honestly, by the time I got you never gave me this much grief. But it is worth it when you get them back in the classroom and realise they've gone from scraping AC to straight A winners. Yes! Keep an eye on student requests too to see the other ways you can make their day. Some of them will pester you for some pretty reasonable things like the study cubicle for their assignments, while this loser wants a bloody head shape like a duck for some reason. It's up to you to decide what's worth splashing money on and what's unnecessary. And speaking of money... Building facilities, adding objects or hiring staff costs money. You want your campus to turn a profit, so don't blow it all on dinosaur skeletons. OMG, look at them, it's like an army! Rawr. 
If you do need an emergency loan for something, you can always go crawling to the likes of Smell My Cash for a dirty payout. But just be mindful of the interest rates. As my granddad used to say, never trust an anteater with a monocle. Hello. Aside from money, you can also earn kudosh by completing the career goals on your campus. Like, say, levelling up students or putting on events. Use it to unlock new objects. It's a much less bountiful resource than money, though, so do spend it wisely. OMG, a f- clown trunk? Get in, mate! You can see your earnings at the end of each academic year. Once you've made a success of one campus, more and more will open up to you. Aside from good grades, there are other ways to bring in new students and boost the appeal of your campus for those already enslaved. I mean, enrolled, sorry. I always get those words confused. Extracurricular activities are a great laugh, from classic movie nights in the lecture hall to raging parties in the student union. Hey, 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 look at them go. This fella's got some moves. Giving them young'uns lounges or party areas with objects for socialising means they'll do exactly that. They'll make mates to vibe with and even form romantic relationships. No. You can also pop down sign-up stands to encourage them to join societies they like. Who knew the power-walking society would be less popular than the power-napping society? Absolute shocker. And if you want to bring more brains in to expand your campus, agree to an open day where a bunch of prospective pupils will come to check things out. Make sure everyone's on their best behaviour and definitely (laughs) get the air freshener going in your dorm rooms. There you have it. That should cover the basics, but there's loads left to learn when Two Point Campus arrives on the 9th of August. Enrolling on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and Nintendo Switch. Play it day one on Xbox and PC Game Pass. Now run along before I set you some homework. For more on Two Point Campus and other subjects, keep it locked to IGN.